my Britishons, it's my Red Tear here, and this is just a sort of quick video about a few of my favourite artists who got me back into DeviantArt and Sonic. You can find their links in the description below. So this is just a semi-quick video, but update on Dragon Prophecy before I get into what I'm going to say, and that is that 3D episode 3- I'm sorry guys, episode- it's late. Uh, that- <laughs> That is that episode 3 is currently at the scripting stage. The story for the next episode has been written up and reviewed by me, Lani, and Kano. Also, welcome Kano to the co writers team. Semi. He's going to help, but... Yeah. Um, both of them are going to help me with figuring out what to do in the next episode and so on and so forth. Because uh, with Elemental Grace and all that, I just didn't know how to keep going with the story. Anyway. Um... The new logo won't be made until I've gotten a new tablet, which is a link to my really good friend Teko, thank you bud, as my tablet ra pen randomly stopped working a few days ago. I'm also working on redesigning Kindo skin after being brought to my attention that the- Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on After being, um, so Kindo skin. Have to change it because after being brought to my attention that the clothes on the skin I used from had Vlad from Aftermath series clothing on, so I'm getting rid of that and changing his clothes because I don't really want to be- said, oh, you're an Aphmau copy by people for small details that I missed and things like that. So, um, basically, Aphmau series clothing on. Um, sorry, I'm getting mixed up and I've got a long script here to help me with what I need to say. Um, so I'm getting rid of that and changing his clothes. And also I'm editing the intro to be much smaller and hoping to make it around 20 to 30 seconds long instead because you guys kept on saying how it was really long and it was taking up most of the episode time, so I'm gonna listen to you guys and I'm gonna make it shorter. Not only that, but I'm planning on make, trying to make the episodes much longer, which means there's gonna be a lot more time needed to make the episodes that don't seem rushed and, well, horrible. Um, because you guys wanted it to be much longer, so I'm gonna try and make it as long as I can, while also not too long, probably around 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so. Anyway, in the next video, so as you hopefully know, I have a comic now called Card Suites. It, or Suits. I still don't know how to say it properly. Um, I'm guessing it's called Suits. A comic about my Sonic characters in an AU, also known as an alternate universe, to do with dragons. But this wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't gotten my muse back for the Sonic characters. Especially in the time where I needed to prepare for my interview. It's actually on the 7th, so the day after I'm recording this. Now, how did I get my muse back? Is what you're probably thinking. Well, it's thanks to three people. Blossom First 7, KJ Dragon 70, and Sketches. All three of these people have wonderful art, and I felt like I, I felt like they really need to be recognised more. They all do commissions, and I'll be linking their DA channels all in the description below, as well as sketches rate my OC channel, as she's got recently created a series where she rates people Sonic OCs via submitting. How you submit? It's simple. Um, uh, that sounded like a cheesy ad. I'm sorry. It's simple. First, you need to have a DeviantArt account, as I do. Just ignore those two messages. I'll get back to that. <laughs> Um, uh, you need to upload your reference sheet, like for example, if we go down to sketches, um, she should, if I can just, sorry guys, I'm not fully prepared, this is really a night for me, uh, Rhea, the tiger, for that, that's like a reference here, um, this is her art, and don't worry, I've asked permission from everyone if I can use their, their art, but, um, so, Make your uh, reference, please don't steal, guys. That's the one thing I hate, is people stealing art or tracing, because it's not really the best thing to do. So please, if you guys could not do that, that would make my day. If I could see all of my lovely British and not tracing or stealing art. Um, but the um, once you've done that, also have the bio included, so what their name, their age, their personality, Etc. And um, what you gotta do is you gotta go onto her uh, DeviantArt channel. It's one. Uh, it's linked in the other thing. Let me see if I can find it on here. In fact, I'll just go onto her uh, video. So this is her series thing. Sorry, guys. Again, I'm not really that prepared for this. Oh, I must. <laughs> um, this account here, uh, rate my OC. Uh, you click send a note, which is up here. So it should be the top right picture that says send a note. You click on that, 
and you are and you have to name it my sonic reference no rate my oc sorry rate my sonic oc and you put your reference in that and sorry i'm really all over the place anyway so once you've done that it'll be there and she does don't worry guys she does constructive cri criticism she never does destructive in case you don't know what constructive criticism is it's basically where she um she tells you things that you might need to improve on like oh for example i'm gonna take what she said about my character t the leopard uh basically she said the um gloves don't go well with the color palette and also the clothing's kind of a used all the time stuff so it'd be best to change that and i'm listening to her i'm gonna edit it when i get a new tablet but yeah i'm gonna go off script <laughs> but de destructive criticism is basically things like saying things that don't make sense such as your art sucks or your character sucks etc etc without actually saying what you need to improve just like oh your character's horrible etc etc don't worry she doesn't do that i promise you 100 percent guaranteed I don't pay. <laughs> don't worry, it's free. Um, but, alright, on to the next person. Uh, also, in case you're wondering, this is all of Sketch's beautiful art. Well, not just that, let me go into all. This is all her art, and again, don't worry, she said I could use her art. So, um, yeah. So these are all her art. I absolutely love her art, in my opinion. She is amazing. But, uh, yeah, on to the next person. Blossom fur. Uh, as you can see, she's got a really, really cute art style. <clears throat> anyway, um, Blossom fur is just a riot. She's really nice when you talk to her, and her drawings are amazing. She recently got into these things called song, adop song adoptables, where she creates characters based on a song or a certain artist, such as Daft Punk's set of adoptables. Her character designs are just beautiful, and so is her humor. My friend Burridge is a good friend of hers too, not to mention her characters are such a delight. I love the idea of her character Angel Angelia having to create the Northern Lights, I'm sorry if I bitched that name, and the story that ties in with her character Kelio and him being blind and insane thanks to messing Ghost of the Child. Not to mention her character Emery, who is pretty much the bad boy, and he's just pretty much the favorite. <coughs> Talking about you, Sabrina. <coughs> anyway, but um, as an example of her humor could be this. Um, again, she'll be linked down in the description, so this is just a quick overview. I promise to be a better person, you never know who you're going to meet today. It's basically just saying how Sonic Forces really came to be. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so this is Blossom. I'm going to quickly show you guys her reference sheets for those three that I mentioned, which are Angelia, Kalio, and Emery. So it'd be in my characters. So... That's Emery here. Uh, let me see if ah here we go references. So, oh yeah, she also has a character called Sylvester that I haven't read much about yet. These are the main three that I've mainly read about. I haven't actually gotten a chance to look at her him, but he's basically based on uh, the It, and he is amazing. Um, so yeah, so there's Angelia, Kalio, and Emery, and they're all amazing. I also love her little doodles that she puts on them everywhere on the uh, reference sheet. It's adorable. And her art style just overall is adorable. Okay, on to our last one I want to talk about is my girl! My girl! K KJ Dragon 70 I love you so much, girl. So, I actually found her through my friend Burridge. I saw a bit of her up before then, but yeah, she's a great, wonderful person. Like, I'll be real here. I had a really bad time one weekend, and she was just there for me. So, not only is she an amazing artist, but she's also an amazing friend as cheesy as that sounds. Also, I have to say, I love her character Asim. There isn't really any pictures on DeviantArt right now, but she he's from her game, which I'll get into in a second, but who she knows I normally call the fluffy angry bean that I must hug. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, she's also working on a game called Fallen Angel, which she does sprite streams on her Picado, which, by the way, all the people we talked about here have a Picado, which I will also link. But so far, the sprites she had made are amazing. I love them all. She's just an all-around wonderful person. In fact, all of them. Which reminds me. Before we reach the end of the video, I'd just like to say thank you to these wonderful gals for granting me permission to use that art in the video. I really appreciate it. And thank you girls so much for inspiring me. And my lovely Britishans, it'd be great if you guys go check out their channels in the description below again. Thanks, guys. Later.
cool. But before we go, I'm just going to have a look through KJ's stuff as well. She made me a beautiful piece for my uh, icon for tea, which is right here, as you can see. She does a lot of these. She does commissions as well. All three of these girls do. And they are amazing. I love them all. So yeah, this is uh, her art. Amazing art. Very fluffy, as she knows I like my fluffy. Uh, especially awesome. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. So I think that just uh, does it for the video. We've been recording for about 10 minutes. It's not that sh long, but at the same time, it's not that short. Um, but yeah, so I'll hope to see you guys later, and I love you all. Bye!